Good day and welcome to another episode of Larrikin Japan. So today we're going to talk about these new bike laws that were brought in on the 1st of November, a few days ago. So I've had a bit of a look at them and I think it's a bit crazy. So stick with me, have a watch and have a listen and see what you reckon. Leave a comment below what you what do you think. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing or how it's going to work? I'd be real interested. So first off, we're going to have a bit of a look at the cars. So this came in in December 2000, uh, 2019, so a few years ago. So before, you used to get fined 1.6 thousand yen, so about 60 bucks. Then they put it up to 3 points and 18 thousand yen. So that 18,000 yen, that's about 180 bucks Australian. So it's pretty cheap. Like in Australia, you get caught using a mobile phone or touching a phone, mobile phone while you're driving. Depending on which state you're in, I think it's like six or eight hundred dollars. It's as expensive as anything. And if you get done a couple of times, you're going to lose your license. I'll take your license off if you get done like three times or something like that. Uh, it's really bad. Here, you're not even supposed to use the entertainment system. A lot of people have um, the TV going and they're watching TV while they're driving. But anyway, you're not supposed to. Now, let's have a look at these bike laws. So, penalties for mobile phone use while cycling or cycling under the influence of alcohol. So, mobile phone use, up to six months imprisonment and up to 100,000 yen fine. So, that's like $1,000 Australian. In cases where phone use has led to an accident, it's up to one year imprisonment and up to 300,000 yen fine. So that's like three grand. Cycling under the influence, up to three years imprisonment and up to 500,000 yen fine. So that's five grand. And in Japan, you don't need much alcohol to be over. It's, it's very little. So, you know, you, if, you've been, if you have a couple of drinks... Don't ride your bike. That's what this new law is going to be. Now, this isn't only going to affect Japanese. This is going to affect tourists too. So if you come to Japan, you're riding around on a bike and you get done using your mobile phone, you're going to get hit. And I pretty well guarantee they're going to hit you hard. You'll be paying a lot of money. Maybe, you know, like... But, but you know, like... Now, most of the people who are doing this using phones while, while cycling are high school kids. So, you know, ki and junior high. So kids from like 13, 14, up to, you know, six, 17, 18. So these are the main, main culprits of this. And um, they don't work. Who's going to pay these fines? You know, the parents have to pay them. Now, also, it's got up to. So... They don't really give us any indication, you know, like how much it is going to be. Is it going to be $100? Start off at $100 and go up. The more times you get booked, the more times it goes up. We, we just don't know how. It's just, it's very, it's not really clear at the moment. Like this, the car one is, you know, you're going to get hit for 18,000 yen, 180 bucks. But this, it's up to. So we're not really sure how it's going to work. But, you know, don't you think it's it's sort of more dangerous driving a car and using your phone than riding a bike and using your phone? They're both dangerous. But why is the amount of fine so different? You know, you've got 180 bucks to 1000 bucks. It's a lot of money difference. And, uh, you know, why, why are cars getting let off so easy? And people use their phones so much here in Japan while driving. You drive along and you look over the next car and the, there's someone in there texting while they're driving. They're not watching the road. Sometimes lights turn green and they're still sitting there texting, you know, that they haven't even been watching the, watching the lights. But anyway, I found this article on NHK World News. It's got a little video attached to it. So if you, I'll leave the link in the description. Have a look at this and have a bit of a read of it. It's all in English, so it's easy to understand. And it'll give you a bit of an idea. Because, yeah. So anyway, the link's in the, in the description. Have, have a check it. Have a look at it and see what you reckon. Now, which do you reckon is more dangerous? Driving a car or riding a bike or using your phone? I know they're both dangerous. But, you know, like, 
Yeah, driving a car, you have to really be careful of bicycles. They Road rules, they just don't obey them. They'll go through stop signs, go through red lights. They ride on the wrong side of the road. They're, they're really dangerous. Some people are really dangerous how they ride bicycles. Now, if you're driving a car and you hit one, you're in the wrong. There is no question about it. It's not, oh, he did this. They don't care. The police don't care. You're driving the car, you you know, you've got the bigger vehicle, you shouldn't, you shouldn't hit them. So you have to be really careful of bikes. I'm really scared of hitting a bike, you know, because some of them, they don't even look. They just ride along and they just, yeah, they're dangerous. They brought in a thing a while ago too. You're not supposed to listen to music, have earphones in while you're um, riding a bike. They had a thing in Honda one time. The police were outside the Juku and they were pulling all the high school kids over and telling them not to listen to music while they were riding their bikes because many of them are listening to music and um, they, they can't hear what's going on around them. So it's dangerous. You're not supposed to, but they still do, you know. And, uh, you know, they ride along looking at their screen. See, now you can't even have like um, a, a phone holder on your bike and like have navy going or something like that and look at where you're going you're not even allowed to do that you're supposed to stop get the phone out of your pocket have a look what's going on put it back in your pocket and then start off again you you're not even supposed to do anything like use your phone while you're riding at all so how they're going to enforce this i really don't know and how what the fines are going to be i really don't know but i don't know why Cars get off so easy. Why it's so cheap for cars? 180 bucks compared to $1,000. I know it's up to $1,000. It's a maximum. What happens with that? I'm not real sure. But um, yeah, it's really different. So if you can work it out how this works, please let me know. Leave a comment in the below and I'd be really interested to have a read of what, you, what you've got to say. What Do you think it's fair and how's it going to work? Because it's just a little bit crazy at the moment. Um, yeah, I, I just really can't understand how it's going to work. Anyway, it's just a short video today. I just thought I'd have a bit of a look at this and see what you reckon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, that's all for now.